Good morning, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Today I am answering the question, how do you pin a website to your desktop or create a shortcut so you can open that web page, a site you go to frequently? This is in response to a question a friend asked on our Facebook page. Lakay asked, have you created one to pin links to the browser so you don't have to reopen an app or program every time you open your computer? That is handy, but many people don't know how to accomplish this. So basically what Lakay is asking is if there's a website I go to a lot, especially if it's got a really long uh, URL, big, long, goofy URL, something like uh, something like this, okay? She's basically asking, how do I get here? How do I uh, create a shortcut to get here? Well, there's a few ways, okay? And I think when she says pin, I think she's talking about having an icon on the desktop or down here in the dock. Again, I'm showing this on a Mac. It shows you how to have an icon that you can just click on and get here. It's actually really simple to do. So I'm going to show you now how to do this a few different ways. First off, we're going to show you how to create an icon on the desktop that you can use as your shortcut. Then we'll show you how to put it in the dock here down at the bottom. So you can just click on one of these icons and have it open that web address and then we'll show you how to create a bookmark and a favorite so they show up up here in your browser these websites okay all right let's get started so first off you need to grab the favicon well let me back up first you need to go to the website to the specific page you want to save whatever that big long url is that you use frequently you want to go there We'll do this with one that we use for work. Okay. This is one that I can never seem to remember, and we use this a lot for work. Okay. So this right here is called the Favicon. They haven't made anything fancy for it. Sometimes you'll have a company logo right there. But you click and you drag that to your desktop. Now that was done in, in Chrome. Okay. But you can do the same thing in Safari or I imagine any other browser. You go to the website you want to create the shortcut for. Grab that favicon right here. And you click and you drag that to your desktop. Okay. So now I've created a link to Aurora Solar, which is a web page I use a lot. And I've created a link to my YouTube channel. I'm going to click on this and change the name. My YouTube no. All right, to my dashboard. I should call it my dashboard. And I've got one to Aurora Solar. Double click. And it opens that web page. And then over here on Aurora Solar, double click. And it opens that web page. All right. If I want it to appear here in the dock, I simply click and drag it to the dock, but be aware you can't drag it to this portion of the dock. You have to drag it to this portion. This is like your custom little dock area. So I click and I drag this to my dock. Sorry, I missed it. You gotta. I apologize. You gotta drag it to this portion over here on the right. I click and I drag it there, and I click and I drag it there, All right? So now I've got them both open. Since I changed the name, don't forget to change the name. Since I changed the name, I can hover over it and it will tell me what that website is. But let me close those again. Aurora Solar, right there, opens it up. My YouTube dashboard, right there, it opens it up. If I choose to, I can now delete these from my desktop. and they will still work in my dock. Now, if you drag one into your dock and you want to get rid of it, you can click it and drag it. Sorry, these Mac laptop keyboards are goofy. Click and drag it away. See how it turns into remove, I let go. That gets rid of it from my dock, okay? So that's how you add it to your dock. Now let's show you how to 
uh, change the logo. If you want it to look like a pretty logo so you know where you're going, you can change the logo. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to change the logo down here so you can see quickly what it is that you put in as the shortcut or as the, the link to your web page. And uh, usually you can just put like the company logo or whatever logo you want, just something so you can glance at that and identify what that is. Now to do this, you have to still have the icon on your desktop. I had thrown it away, so I clicked and dragged it out of my trash into my desktop. Now, what I need to do is I need to go do a Google search and find the, the logo that I want to use. I already found mine. I'm going to control click on a Mac or right click on a PC. And I'm going to copy that image. Then I'm going to go down here to this page and I'm going to right click or control click and I'm going to choose get info. That's going to pop up this little logo here. If I click on the icon right here and then I push command V or control V on a PC, you'll see it changes that logo. Now that will update here. See? Now it clicks it has the icon of Aurora. I could do the same thing with my YouTube channel one. Do it one more time just to show you. Search and find a YouTube logo. One that I like. There's one. Control click or right click and choose copy image. Then go over to the icon here, my YouTube dashboard. Right click or control click and click get info. Click on the icon up here and push Command V for paste. Now it's got that YouTube logo. I can put it back in my dashboard or in my uh, doc, this is called. And now, anytime I want to get to, let's close these web pages just to show that it works. Anytime I want to get to my YouTube dashboard, I click this icon in the, in the doc. Anytime I want to get to my Aurora Solar web page, I click this icon in the doc. And it takes me right there. So that's my favorite way to do it. You can also use bookmarks. I'm going to show you on Safari real quick how to make a bookmark out of these pages. So again, you need to be on the page and you click this icon right here, show sidebar. That will show you your bookmarks, your favorites. Favorites are the ones that show up in Safari right here as your favorites. Okay. They're also, when you open a new tab, they show up right there as your favorites. They're also the ones that show up over here. Bookmarks are just anything you bookmark, okay? So it's pretty simple. Just be on the, and oh, and by the way, if you want this sidebar to disappear again, you click right here and close that. Okay, so just simply adding the bookmark, I need to make sure I'm on the page. I click bookmarks, click add bookmarks, and it tells me where I want to put this. Do I want to put this under just the bookmarks folder or favorites? Again, that just indicates where it's going to show up. I'll show you what happens if I put it in favorites. I click add. Okay. Then whenever I open a new page, it will show up in my favorites here. The only reason you don't see it is because I have too many. If I click show more, you can now see my link to my YouTube, uh, my YouTube dashboard that I just made. Okay. I also can click on this right here. It will open up all my bookmarks. Click on whichever for bookmark folder I put it in. Favorites in this case. And I have way too many. I'll make another video sometime where I show you how to remove bookmarks and organize them into folders and things like that. But if I scroll down under favorites, you'll see I've got my channel dashboard. I click on that and it takes me to my channel dashboard. Again, I can do the same thing with my Aurora Solar link. Go to that page, click bookmarks, add bookmark can put it in my favorites or one of these custom folders or just under bookmarks, wherever I want to put it. Click add. Now you'll see it when I click on the bookmark tab. It's no longer under favorites. It's under actual bookmarks. It should be, which it is right here. Okay. Click on that and it takes me to that web page. Again, to close that, you can do that really quickly. I'll show you how to uh, do this on a on Google Chrome because I know a lot of you guys use Google Chrome. Again, you need to be on the web page you want to bookmark.
Chrome bookmarks will show up up in here, the favorites and things like that. But very similar. Up at the top, I click bookmarks. I click bookmark this tab. Bookmark manager is where you would remove bookmarks because I have a lot that I should probably go in and remove. Bookmark this tab. Okay. Put it in the bookmarks bar. That will put it up at the top. Click done. All right. Now it's up here, but I have so many, I have to click this link and it's clear down at the bottom for Aurora Solar, which takes me there, okay? If I wanna clean this up so there's not too many bookmarks in the way so that I can have just a handful of my favorites right here, I would go to bookmarks, bookmark manager, and I would just start deleting stuff that I don't want, okay? Just delete stuff. And if I delete enough of these, I won't bore you with watching me delete them all, but if I delete enough of these, it will put my YouTube dashboard here at the top because I'll have created space for the YouTube dashboard. Okay, so hopefully that helped. Again, I gotta delete a bunch more for it to show up there. But that is how you pin a website on a Mac desktop so that you can just get to that long, goofy web URL with the click of a button or right here in your dock. Okay, hope that helped. Again, it's Kurt with Teach Mom How. Remember, you can learn to do anything. Ask a question in the comments, and I will make a video responding to it. Have a great day. Thanks.